Good morning. Are we live? Yeah, we're live. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. We are here on this Wednesday morning. And, you know, every week we're like, what are we going to talk about? What are we going to talk about? And, you know, this week I just didn't feel like doing a real estate topic. So I've, I've just had a lot on my mind, you know, with goals that we have and things that we're trying to accomplish. And, you know, I just thought, why don't we just talk about goals and how, you know, you guys actually crush them. Um, and look, I'm not coming at this like, oh, we've got everything figured out. That's not the perspective, you know, that I'm coming from here. It's more of a, uh, this is life and the struggle is real. And I want to know, you know, what it is that you guys do in order to actually attain the things that you're setting out to do. Um, I know that we <laughs> constantly have a list of things that we're trying to accomplish, right? So it's, Good morning, mom. Good morning, Haley. Um, it, life is crazy. And I feel like, you know, we're always just trying to create this like perfect, this perfect life with this perfect, um, you know, set of things that we have going on. You know, we're killing it in business. All of our clients are happy. Our employees are doing great and they're thrilled with what they do. And our kids are killing it in school and sports and we're fit and we're all eating perfectly. And, you know, <laughs> okay. and it's, it's ridiculous because, um, yeah, because of life. Right. So, I guess I just, you know, kind of wanted to go on here and talk about a couple of things that I struggle with and what I'm trying to do to get past it. Um, you know, I feel like I always set like these big fitness goals. OK. And so if anybody has known me for years, you know that I have like this whole like ebb and flow of fitness. You know, I get on it and I'm like, get crazy for a few months and I go run a marathon and I've got it all together. And then life happens and I'm like, you know, going out and having a good time with my friends. And yeah, <laughs> and then I end up kind of where I'm at right now. Like so a it's a total cycle. And it's because, you know, we're all like emotional human beings that, you know, don't exactly just operate like robots. Um, so <laughs> I will be the first to admit I've gotten caught up in, in work stuff in life and raising kids and everything so much that, you know, I haven't really accomplished like what I had set out to do because we had planned on, you know, we signed up for a marathon. I say we, it's Haley and I, and I had signed up for it too, but he has a knee issue. Y'all tell him he needs to go to the doctor, please. So I have this serious knee issue. It's serious. It's been lingering. Um, I really don't know how it happened, but um, I've been having knee pain, a lot of knee pain, especially when I when I do a lot of while well, I was playing uh, co-ed softball, and after every game I was I was having a lot of pain. But uh, so if you guys recommend a knee doctor that you love that you swear by, please let me know. I think it needs to be like someone who's sports related yep. for sure. Because, um, <laughs> Teresa, right. I know. I'm like, could you just go to the doctor and maybe get diagnosed? <laughs> and I don't know. Start. Thank you, Haley. The problem that go I have is uh, if I go to the doctor, I already know that I'm going to be out for. You are out. No, no. I, I'm going to. You are out. Be out like, of, like I, I'm not oh, going to be work. No, 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 no. I got to work. All. Here's the thing is that he I got, won't go. I got so much to do. Here's the thing. He won't go to the doctor and then he will end up like laying tile. And so he'll be like on his knees, like doing something crazy that he shouldn't be doing. And then he's going to be out like for real out because he didn't go handle the problem to begin with. Somebody tell him, please. It sucks being 40. Two. You're not 40. Two. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, he's out for like WebMD is not a doctor. I know he thinks, oh, well, you know, I've got arthritis in my knee and, you know, it's just a foregone conclusion that I'll never be able to run again. And I'm like, could you please go to an orthopedic 
doctor that specializes in sports injuries, someone who actually runs and understands that it's important to continue that for the rest of your life and not just stop at 42? No, in all seriousness, I, I really need to get it checked out. Okay, so Augie's goal, speaking of goals, right. is to actually get into a doctor and start working on that. So, good morning, Aunt Patty. So, okay, so my goal has been to try to like get back into this whole like marathon training thing. So, signed up for the marathon, did not build my base mileage through the spring and summer and get, you know, lose the weight I was supposed to. Did not do all those things that I was supposed to do in order to be able to really ramp up and do marathon training. So, what do I do? Because I'm crazy. Um, I have been like calculating exactly you know, what mileage I feel like I would have to give up at and got motivated right at the last possible moment that I could, you know, do this. So, yeah, I've been running and trying to, like, get caught up and they're already at, like, seven miles and then it's going to go eight and ten over the next couple weeks. And so what do I do? I come up with a plan for that, right? Because that's what you have to do whenever you have goals. You can't just, you know, just run at it and think it's going to happen. So you have to plan. So my plan has been, since I'm not in the best shape, is to uh, do yoga along with it to stretch and, you know, try to keep myself from getting injured in the process. Um, Maybe I need to do yoga. You totally do. I bet your knee would... Uh, your, I have been telling him for months that if he will just do yoga, his knee issue will probably disappear. But you Good morning, do, Valerie. You do that hot yoga. Oh, it's awesome. No, it's the best thing ever. It is the best thing ever. There are guys in there. There are guys in there that like, yeah, they like do headstands. It's pretty thing. awesome. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe we should, I, I should take him to a hot yoga class and then report to you guys how well that went. You can go right? Facebook Live with that. No, you can't Facebook Live <laughs> in the yoga studio. That disturbs the peace, brother. I know. Maybe we'll just pre-record it. <laughs> so, okay. So listen, so, you know, you get distracted by life and everything that you have going on. So you don't actually do the things that you're setting out to do. Not all of them. I mean, you can't do all of them, right? See, yoga works. It does. It does work. It works. And out. We had a glitch. We had a glitch. Okay. So anyway, I had to get serious. Y'all are crying this morning. Hey, I'm just being real, Teresa. Like, I mean, I got so many things that I want to do. And the truth is, is that, you know, the kids get sick. They got sports. You know, I'm supposed to be like eating healthy. And then like, I've got an appointment in the evening. You know, Owen has practice. And then the next thing you know, we did not like, you know, make our perfectly healthy and balanced meal. And I want to run with you. But you can't because but you I won't can't. go to the doctor or do the yoga. So anyway, so what did I do? So I started reading this book. OK, if you're anything like me, I am not the type of person that's wired mildly. So I need like hardcore wake up call type stuff, not be nice to yourself. Be kind. No, and that's not what gets me moving. So I started reading this book. And if you feel like you need a kick in the pants, go read this book. Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Now, I will tell you that I have got no interest in putting my body through the things that he has put himself through. But it'll quit make you being a weenie. <laughs> Seriously. So, so I need to since, quit being a weenie. Yes. Yes. So since I read that book, I started getting up at 430 in the morning and running. Y'all, I don't do 430 in the morning. That is not me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, I'm not saying I don't get up early, you know, get up 6, 630 or something. But I don't get up and go run. I like get up and like have my coffee, get the kids off to school. I don't do that kind of early business. Um, yes, Haley, right? The book is crazy amazing. It makes you realize, like, and remember that, you know, your body is really wired to do things that your mind limits on a regular basis. I agree. And we've learned that before in running other marathons. Um, and I just kind of needed to remember that, that, hey, quit being a big baby and get up, go do the things you need to do in order to get where you want to be. So here we are. 
Valerie, you have rheumatoid arthritis. I'm so sorry. And my husband and I started doing yoga. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of this message here. Started doing yoga together. We just completed our first 5K Muddy Dash without yoga. I don't think it would have been possible. Without yoga, I don't think it would have been possible. No, I totally agree with you. I had um, I had these calf injuries that were recurring last year, and I started doing yoga, and like within two weeks, I could run. It's pretty awesome. So don't discount it, especially for those of us who are – you know, getting a little older and feeling all the aches and pains and all the limiting things that, you know, just do the yoga. It's it, it stretches everything out and it strengthens all of those muscles that you don't use on a regular basis so that you can do the things you want to do. Yay or nay for yoga? Yay. So anyway, I just wanted to get with you guys and talk to you about like our struggles and ask you guys, how do you get over? Um, your limited mindset and behaviors and actually go complete the goals that you've set out to do. So this, this start book helps with this you book. with the mindset. Uh, it totally starts with the mindset. Mindset. It's like, it says master your mind and defy the odds. There it basically, go. it just, there you go. it reminds you that basically if you're out pushing yourself physically, it actually strengthens your mind which I totally agree with mm -hmm. Do the yoga, Augie. See, Donna's telling you too. you need to do the yoga. Really? Yes. All right. Next time you catch me. Yeah. I'm going to be in a yoga studio <laughs> with my yoga mat. All I need right. a yoga mat. We're just carrying on now. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys have a great week. And if you see me around, Jenny, you have no idea what aging really is yet. I mean, I believe you. I totally believe you. And I really feel like that in order to try to keep that from being a rough thing later on, that we have to create the habits now in order to keep our flexibility and strength and all of that. So um, that's kind of always the goal. But we are human beings who ebb and flow. I want to get to running again. So, I really need to get to running again. Step one. I loved it. Anyway, he's going to go to the doctor. Um, we're going to get going. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's mm -hmm. uh, goals yeah. and mindset. And If you see me around through. like looking like a zombie, it's because we've been running, you know, super early in the morning. And, they and it's been hot. It's been hot. It's been super hot. So if I seem like I'm not all together, that's why. Drink your um, fluids, stay hydrated. Okay. All right. You guys have a lovely day, and we will talk to you next time. Later. Bye.